hey everybody welcome to the clone stamp 2 tutorial this is an extreme example and I probably wouldn't even use this photo but I'm going to show you how you could start editing something out of an image like my giant hand that's in the way here using clone stamp so again I have a background layer I'm gonna double click change that to a regular layer and if you don't see layers they're usually over here on the right uh, if you don't see it in there go to window make sure layer is checked so that it's on your screen all right, so we're going to go to Clone Stamp Tool once again. Double check that you have a hard edged brush. And we're going to zoom in a little bit tight around what we're going to be editing out. So Control Plus, using my space bar to move over. And just be patient if it's lagging a little bit. So in a moment, once I see that it's switched, there we go. We can start editing out. So again, I'm going to resize my brush using the brackets next to the letter P on my keyboard. And I'm probably going to do smaller samples, especially when I get closer to the actual horse. Will I be able to paint this part of him back in? Not unless I'm an excellent artist. So that's, again, why I probably wouldn't use this image. But let's say there's just a little bit here. If I hold Alt down and select near the thing that I'm editing out, I can slowly start covering up. But I'll notice that there's actually a little different color here. So I'm not going to necessarily cover that up. I'm going to try and follow that line going straight across and you see that it's repainting my hand so I'm going to take a new sample and cover that up some more and I might need to take several samples to do that. Now I'm going to make my brush smaller so I can get this darker yellow. Hold Alt, click to select it. Notice I didn't have any of his tail in that selection and slowly start painting over. And I can tell many of you are not paying attention to following directions because you can probably hear a lot of laughter behind me, even though I asked everybody to be quiet while I was making this video. All right, so I'm just going to keep slowly selecting, slowly painting over. And it will take some time, perhaps, especially if it's a bigger thing to edit out. And I might need to continuously sample, click, sample, click, sample, click. But as I'm going, it will actually go a little faster because I'll get more comfortable and familiar with it. And you can see, even just this little bit that I've done is getting rid of the hand. Now, this was easy because the hand was by solid yellow. So you can zoom out a little bit and you can see how that hand is slowly disappearing. When you are by something more textured, it may be too much work and you may avoid doing it all together. But you can potentially, again, follow lines because when lines are wobbly or messed up, that's when we notice that it's been, basically it's been Photoshopped, it's been edited. We're gonna move the mouse down and try and follow that same line. Click over it. I'm gonna take a sample of this line because the color may be a little different than this color. Follow over it. And I'll take some plain orange follow that. So you can see I can actually edit out over texture, but it does make the lines a little funny. Something like that would make me probably give up on this image because this hand is just too much to edit out. If it was just a tiny little fingertip that got in the way though, that would be something I would take my time. And you can see right here, I can actually start editing it out relatively easy. And if lines are a little bit messed up, you can use your smudge tool to slowly move them back or you can see me for how to use liquify where it doesn't smear it. But the blurring is gonna be so small, and when I zoom out, people aren't really gonna notice it, but it's not gonna to be too much of an issue. So you can try that, but if it becomes too much work, I would abandon the photo and work on something else.